I just realized the majority of these are higher end. Whoops. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be going over eight products that I've fallen in love with in 2018 so far. These aren't all products that came out in 2018, they're just products that over the course of 2018 I've first started using or really got into using and fallen back or in love with for the first time. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. It really helps me out, you guys. And I hope if you haven't already, think about subscribing, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So the first product I'm going to be talking about is a foundation. This is from Shantakai. This is the Shantakai Future Skin Gel Foundation in the shade Alabaster. This was something I kind of bought like on a whim at a Blue Mercury. If you're not familiar with the, the chain, it's kind of like a Sephora mashed together with a skincare store. Um, I don't know if they have that many chains across the country or across the world, but it's just really like a high-end makeup store where they really only sell kind of like luxury products. Like they have La Mer, they have Chantecaille, they've got like high-end stuff. So I just kind of went in on the whim. My boyfriend and I were getting bubble tea next door and I saw it and I was like, let's just go in. So, so we go in, I get a makeup demo done with this foundation and a couple other products. The rest were kind of pushed to the back burner because this foundation looked incredible on me. Not sure what it was. She mixed it with a highlighter. I've used it with a liquid highlighter and without and either way it still looks incredible. Right now, I haven't been reaching for it as much but over the course of 2018, I panned an entire like product of this foundation and this is actually my second one bought another one this is a very expensive foundation it's like eighty dollars i know which is just shocking to me but it's also shocking that i found a foundation that i loved enough to completely pan in less than a year which i don't know if you watch my foundation to clutter or anything i haven't panned a foundation in a long time so this is very special. I've completely fallen in love with it. Not sure if this is going to be like a long-term love, but this one is practically brand new, so I will be using it for the time being. The next product that I completely fell head over heels in love with in 2018 is from Natasha Denona. Again, expensive. This is the Invisible HD Face Powder in number 01 Light Medium. This is such a finely milled powder but it's not too white like it has a good undertone to it that is light enough to brighten my under eyes but not too light for me to use on the rest of my skin which I really appreciate in a loose powder and there's really only three loose powders that I've found that have that effect on me and the other two well one is from Beauty Bakery and then the last one is from Maybelline so we've got a range of prices here <laughs> you've got your drugstore you've got your medium indie brand and then you've got your Natasha Denona <laughs> such a good loose setting powder it just like, I can't explain how it does this, but it feels cooling whenever I put it on my skin. It feels cooling. So it feels cool, and then when you wipe your fingers, like down here, or you pat it in, your skin just feels so smooth, and it looks airbrushed. Uh, I just, I cannot get over this powder. I have been rationing it. I've been using other powders that I've fallen in love with. Not as much as this one, though. This one really takes the cake. Why, Natasha? Why do you have to be so good? I should have done this one first because it's a primer whoops the next product that i fell in love with and again a product that i've panned and gotten again is from dr brand this is the pores no more luminizing primer i got this in a boxy charm i believe towards the very beginning of this year correct me if i'm wrong i'm sure it's somewhere in one of my videos i panned this in my hashtag drop 10 by summer project pan if you haven't seen that series i'll throw that up in the cards for you to check out but I completely panned this and realized how much I love luminizing primers and just I fell in love with this primer. I used up the whole tube, I cut it open, scraped out the inside, completely panned. I only got another one because I was able to get it completely free with some points. This is currently waiting in my primer drawer for me to use up a few more primers but I'm sure that once I get back to it I will once again pan it. The next product that I fell in love with comes from Kylie Cosmetics and really, really just shocked me. This is the Kylie Concealer. Now, I will say it is really hard to find your shade, as evidenced by the fact that I have three shades here. 
they all I can make them all work but really the best um, shade that I found for me is bone and that's for under my eyes the other two are pretty light but as long as I bring it down a bit and kind of highlight you know the chin and the forehead I can make I can make it work I only bought two of these from the website as I was trying to find my shade and then I bought I believe it was stone I bought on Poshmark from another youtuber actually despite the trouble of finding my shade I do think this is such an amazing concealer I love the applicator because I know everyone and their mother loves the doe foot applicator but this applicator is so intuitive and nice it's just flat it's got a rounded tip. Not only is this good for applying a product on your under eyes, but for doing cut creases or any work on my lids, this shape is perfect. And it gets just the right amount of product, like within the wand, that I'm not overdoing it. So I really do appreciate the packaging, the shape of the wand, and the product itself is so bulletproof. It is full coverage. It'll cover got bags I've got so many bags bags it covers them up I can use it to spot conceal I can use it for eye work I can use it for I actually used it on my eyes today to do I kind of do like a it's not really a cut crease but I did use it a little bit on my lids before I put on my lid shade she did one thing right Kylie the concealer really like if she came out with a foundation like the same formula not the same formula exactly because it's a concealer but if she came out with a foundation because of how much i love the concealer i'd try it i'd try it some of her some of her other products are a little meh but she really knocked it out of the park with the concealers the next product that i fell in love with completely not completely panned 99 percent panned is the hourglass ambient lighting powder and diffused light. I've already bought a backup of this, but I'm waiting to use it until I completely pan this. There's just a little bit left in the corner right here, and it's kind of hard to use it. I have to use a big like eyeshadow brush to get the powder out now, so I use it for touch-ups throughout the day, but I've used up this entire powder, and you get a lot of product in these powders. It took me a while to use this up. Again, I found I had issues finding my shade. I got a shade that was too light for me, um, and it just didn't work. It made me look like dead and I wasn't a huge fan because you know the shade was too off I couldn't see how the formula worked so I returned that and I got diffused light and fell in love it's my perfect shade and it's got such a luminous look to it that's not glittery it's such a good setting powder oh my god <sighs> it sets your face it actually like sets down everything so it doesn't budge i can blend product out on top of it you can use it throughout the day to touch up your makeup and it won't look cakey but then once it's on your skin like it has a blurring and glowing effect it's a little bit strange but it does Again, I don't want to touch my back up until I've completely panned this one up. I think I can finish this in like the next day or two, really, but absolutely love this powder. I really want to get one of those palettes that come out during the holiday season. I'm really upset that I like wasn't a part of the beauty community when that one holiday palette came out that was like marble packaging because that one is gorgeous. And the, the holiday palette last year wasn't that great and it had a lot of blushes in it. I want... An hourglass palette it's a full face palette I want diffused light I want a bronzer I want a blush I want a highlight I want it all in one palette and I want it beautiful I want it so I'm really looking forward to whatever hourglass comes out with for the holidays odds are I'll be jumping on it the next product that I fell in love with I'm gonna call it more of a product category but this is the product that really kicked off that love it's a blush from Anastasia Beverly Hills as a blush trio in peachy love and this really introduced me to the peach blush before this I kept trying pink blushes of all shades of pink none of them were really working for me and I just thought I looked kind of clownish didn't really like them so it wasn't even until my Sephora interview where they suggested suggested where they suggested that a peachy blush would look the best on me that I even considered a peach blush. Not sure why that never even entered my headspace, but this was the first peach blush that I picked up because I'd really be interested in these trios from ABH, but I had no idea what color to get. 
got the peach one, fell in love. I really need to expand my horizons because I had like immediately assumed in my head, oh, I can't wear peach blush. It looks so pretty on me and it looks good with my undertone. So I need to not generally assume something before even like giving it a shot or trying it out. It's the lesson of the day brought to you by Peach Blush from ABH. Thank you, Peach Blush from ABH. The next item that I totally fell in love with this past, oh, there's powder all over, that I totally fell in love with this past year is a highlighter from Becca. It is the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. Of course, it is absolutely stunning. It has a crown embedded right there in the middle, and it's just the most beautiful, like, golden, peachy highlighter ever. This was a limited edition highlighter released right around the time of the royal wedding and was released only in the UK. A lovely, lovely commenter left me a link to, I think it was a QVC site where they were actually selling it and you can get shipping anywhere. So I jumped on it and I was able to get the highlighter and I was obsessed with it. I used this for weeks straight. I didn't touch the rest of my highlighters at all. Love this one so much. I still do. I'm just panning a highlighter right now, so I'm not really focusing on this one as much, but it's a really beautiful highlighter. And this, I think this highlighter broke my record for like the longest length of time I've used one highlighter. Because <laughs> normally with my like collection, I like to switch products out fairly often, but this one I just kept coming back to. Huh. It's so pretty. And look at the, the packaging is even beautiful too, just silver. Like I need to display these. I'm redoing my room and I'm trying to make more room for displaying the pieces that I really love. So I'm really excited for that. And product number eight, the last product that I fell, this is a back in love with this year. It's a Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced. I particularly fell in love with one look that I got out of this. If you've seen one of my other videos, you've probably heard this before. Um, Paige from Thrifty Beauty did a tutorial on a pumpkin spice look. I've been going back to this palette and doing that. And in doing so, I've been really looking at the full palette and realizing how versatile it is and how great of a palette it is. So even with the entirety of my eyeshadow palette collection here, even over my Pan That palette, I've been reaching for this one. I've actually already been thinking about what palette I want to pan for next year, and this one is on the short list. It's really between this one and one other palette, and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick yet, but I've really been reaching for this one. I keep coming back to it. I love everything about this palette, and I'm really excited to get more use out of some older palettes in my collection. So those are eight products that I fell in love with or back in love with in 2018. Let me know what products that you've loved in 2018 so far. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.